All right, so welcome back to another video, guys. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at this dude right here, Kumo or Tyrant, whatever. I think his name is Kumo, if I remember correctly, the Paul guy. This dude, I don't know how good he is. Uh, it seems that he attacks every four seconds with 24 range and 214 damage, and he costs 600 to place down. So you guys know the vibes. We about to go in there in infinite mode, check out the full potential of this guy with some urban buffs, and uh, just check out how good this character is. Hopefully, he's good. And then I think this will be the last character that I'm going to be making a video on. So this is the last character. That's all the characters. I think that's pretty much it. All right. So, of course, going to go into this map because I'm still not bored of this map. All right, guys. So, let's go ahead and place this dude down. So, um, he starts off as a AoE cone. Um, his AoE cone is pretty whack. Uh, I already said his stats. And, yeah, I mean, his attack looks pretty cool, though. Let me see his attack. All right. He does his little stomp and he does his paw thing. All right. Dope. All right, so let me go ahead and upgrade this guy. Let's check out how he is. All right, so his first upgrade is going to cost 550. And then, uh, whoa. Okay, I, wait, what the? All right, it, yeah. And then he gets two range, 492 damage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so let's check it out. So now he got 707 damage every four seconds on him. Uh, his range did go up. His AoE cone, did it get like wider or something? I don't know. But his next upgrade is going to cost 600. And it's going to give him 2 range and 596 damage. Let's go ahead and get that real quick. Alright. So now he has 1,303 damage every 4 seconds of 28 range. I mean, so far this guy is actually like super cheap. Like, he didn't even cost that much to place down. So, and he's dealing this much damage. So, so far this character doesn't seem bad at all. Alright, but his next upgrade though. He's going to get minus 4 on his range. He's going to get one second pair attack, like plus. So he's going to be attacking in five seconds. And then 3,297 damage and then this thing called pad burst for 1,300. I mean, yo, for 3,000 pretty much, this guy costs 3,050 to place down. And he's already dealing 4,600 damage every five SPA with 24 range. I mean, his AoE cone is decent and his range is not nothing crazy. But for story mode, like this could be a pretty good unit, especially with Erwin buffs as well. Pretty cheap to place down and all that. This guy might actually be a story mode unit. I don't know yet because his next upgrade though is going to cost 2,350. He's going to get 28 plus range, 1 plus on his attack, and 4,399 damage and pad shock. Oh, shoot. Bro. Okay. All right. Let me see that skill. Okay. He's getting ready to... Okay. He's like condensing it and then he just shoots it out and oh, wow. Yeah, this dude, his AoE circle is gigantic. Yeah, this guy's AoE circle is something else, that's for sure. Uh, I didn't expect his AoE circle to be so huge. I think this guy has the biggest AoE circle in the game. I thought it was Jiraiya that had the biggest AoE circle. Never mind, it's this dude that has the biggest uh, circle. So, I mean, yeah, this character is pretty good so far. I mean, look, this dude has 9,000 damage with 6 SPA. And then... 52 range and his next upgrade is going to give him 10 plus range uh 4.5 second pair attack and 5681 damage this what this dude attacks every 10 seconds well 10.5 62 range and 14,681 damage who is this guy bro he's this guy is busted I mean, every 10 seconds, though, but still, like, look at this guy's AoE circle. That's literally crazy. All right, and his final upgrade is going to cost 3,350. And uh, it's going to give him 10 plus range, 4.5 on his attack again, and then 8k damage. Let's get that. And now he does 22k damage. Well, 22,686 every 15 seconds with 72 range. I mean, bro. Like, this character definitely surprised me, especially the fact that this dude is, uh, he costs 10,000, above 10,000. Nope. Wait, let me see that real quick. Yeah, so this guy costs 11,460 to place down. Um, he's pretty, ex he's not expensive, actually. Um, I mean, this guy costs the same amount almost, pretty much. Luffy costs almost the same amount. Well, never mind. This dude costs 20k. Never mind. I got it confused with a different character. Never mind that, guys. Never mind that. So this dude is definitely pretty cheap. Like, he's like half the price of Luffy. And you get 72. Is he a hybrid? He's a hybrid unit, guys. 
No way! This guy's a hybrid unit. This dude... Guys, all I can say is that Light Yagami could literally hide. He, he can hide from this dude. He can literally hide from this dude. Like, look at his AoE circle. This dude got a gigantic AoE circle. Wait, let me see him attack and, like, delete all these enemies. Oh, he just deleted everyone right here. Yeah, so he... The AoE circle doesn't actually work how it's supposed to or what's going on. Because, like, the AoE circle is this big. So why only, like... Only like a few in the circle get actually attacked. Like sometimes it's not even like the whole thing. I want to see that attack one more time. Because that... I want to see how this AoE circle works. Because that is not making sense. Hold on, let me see this. Okay, he's going to attack soon. It, everything needs to get cleared over here. Okay, it actually did. But he attacked over here. Alright, so the AoE circle is actually working. Sometimes it's like weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me not paying attention right. But... I mean, wow, this character is also a hill, like hybrid unit. I'm super surprised. And you guys know All-Star. Like, whenever there's a One Piece character added into the game, you know it's going to be cracked because All-Star loves their One Piece. And I mean, look at this, guys. Like, what is there to say about Kumo? He's literally amazing. All right, well, I mean, let's go ahead and start buffing him with Erwin. And let's check out how much damage he goes up to. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, let me place down my Erwins real quick right over here. All right, next one right over here and uh buff wait i misclicked all right buff buff and buff okay here we go Sixty-eight thousand and fifty-eight damage wow okay i mean guys this is pretty good i can't lie this is actually really really good yeah this character being a hybrid as well and then luffy's a hybrid as well what's with all these hybrid units coming out wow like air units are definitely gonna be getting destroyed now Especially with multiple hybrid units coming out now. Like, we got uh, this guy, Kumo. We got Luffy. We got, what's his face? Boo. We got a bunch. I could probably actually make like a hybrid units only challenge kind of video. I think I might do that in the future. But yeah, honestly, I think that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I mean, this was Kumo. I highly recommend getting this character because he's cheap. Like, you could actually afford this guy for some story mode, honestly. I mean, 10k... Yeah, you could definitely afford it, especially if you placed on a maxed out Escanor. Uh, well, the money one. Then, yeah, you could definitely afford this guy. Like, placing at least one guy down like this, and then having some other units down, like, you're set. So, anyway, guys, yeah, I'm going to end the video right there. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. I'd really appreciate if you did subscribe. And peace out, guys.